Here's another way school really messes people up. And let me be clear, this is not to blame teachers. This is not to say schools necessarily even necessarily do anything different. This is to say that structurally inherent to how schools operate leaves us all trained in a way that does not serve us well in the long run. Let's talk exactly about what that is. And that has to do with the idea that you somehow have to do it all yourself or you're cheating. That you can't ask others for help, that you can't get others involved, that you can't ask someone who's done it before. I remember when we were an undergrad, especially, they really emphasized that like even talking to someone who'd taken the class before would be considered cheating by the school, right? Because they had solved those problems before. They'd answered those questions. And now the problem with that, and I get, again, within the school system, they're trying to figure out what are you independently capable of? What's up in your head? What can you solve on your own? What do you bring with you to a team when you go off and join a team? But they never tell you to switch that off. That for the rest of your life, when you're trying to tackle a big problem, when you're trying to solve something that's bigger than what you know how to do, that the correct way to solve the problem, if it's important to solve it, and if it's not important, then why bother? But if it's important to solve the problem, then you owe it to yourself, you owe it to others involved, you owe it to others on the team and the company, you owe it to everybody else who's potential to benefit from the problem being solved, to get others involved, to go beyond yourself, to ask someone who's done it before, to ask someone who's further down the line, to ask someone who's solved something comparable, how they did it, to learn from, benefit from, maybe get them involved in the process of thinking through the next steps, that that's how we deal with bigger problems. You have to make it bigger than just, you're, you're not getting bonus points for doing it all yourself. And again, I know what happens, we get this trained deeply into us that we want to be good students. We want to fight fair. We want to be good people. We don't want to be cheaters. And so because of that, we get the idea that it all has to come from up here. That if we ask others, we're not doing it right. But again, it really means you're doing it wrong. One of the things that's happened uh, that's made school so much easier than it used to be, in a way I think maybe school often hasn't caught up with, is that technology has made a lot of things easier to do that used to be harder. Right? I mean, literally, things that today we can do a lot of research, and I mean research with a capital R, on the internet. Used to take day after day after day in the library. And because school hadn't caught, caught up to this, at least when I was going through school, you know, we could basically crank out a research paper that was reasonably well researched and reasonably well put together, maybe the night before, two days before, that before would have taken far more time in the library. And this isn't to envy the way things used to be. That sounds awful. This is instead to emphasize that as it's gotten harder, what we got to do is we've got to up the difficulty to keep up with how easier things have gotten. In a case where actually I actually like this kind of example, right, where uh, a lot of problems that used to be very, very, very hard to solve with a whiteboard are now pretty easily brute forced by a computer. We can literally have a computer be like, you know what? Check all 3,000 numbers. Check all 100,000 possibilities. Send me back the right answers. We can do so many things with a computer. And so one of my favorite classes as an undergrad in computer science was basically building upon that and instead of saying using a computer was cheating, it said, here's some problems that are so hard that you couldn't do it without the computer's help. And now things got interesting, right? Now you had to write a program as part of just figuring out what could be the answer to this bizarre problem. And I think that that's gotta be a thing that we apply to the kind of problems we tackle with our lives where rather than say, oh no, asking others would be unfair. That would make it too easy. Instead, we gotta figure, okay, what is the size of a problem where in order to attack it, we're going to have to involve others. We're going to have to ask someone who's done it before. We're going to have to get some expert feedback, advice, guidance, knowledge of someone who's gone down that path, seen some things, been through some things, survived some things. And quite frankly, often find those people are quite often quite grateful to have someone else suffer less than they did. To be able to build upon at least here's what they found, which may not map exactly the same to your situation, but is so much better and more to go off of than guessing, than feeling like, well, I've got to make each of my mistakes for myself. That if I can't get it right, if I don't know it all on my own, all working on my own, then I don't deserve to succeed. This is where it's so beneficial, so important to collaborate with other people, with teammates, with bosses, with employees, with companies that are collaborative partnerships, complementary partnerships to figure out, okay, well, again, what is the bigger problem to solve that maybe, maybe we never even noticed before because we wouldn't even look at problems that were so big we had to ask people because we felt like asking people was cheating because school drilled into us that if you ask, if you talk to someone else who's done it before, then that's not fair. 
Well, welcome to the adult life where in order to solve problems worth solving, they're going to be of a bigger kind that's going to require... Let's get some other people involved in this because we can't carry this load alone. That's thought for the day. Thank you as always for tuning in. I'll never be fail tomorrow.